A Woman in Berlin. Original title, Eine Frau in Berlin. I hope my German pronunciation isn't absolutely horrible. It would be because I never learned German. When the Russians take most of Berlin, the civilians have to survive. And this includes that the women, simply because they can't defend themselves, are repeatedly raped. This is based on the diary of one particular German woman. I'm not sure she's ever been identified, but this diary is an important source of information for a piece of history that has been denied. The movie is excellent in many ways, other than being beautifully shot, impressively edited. There's a richness in detail and an incredibly high level of authenticity. There is a mongrel soldier in the Russian army in this. I don't know if mongrel is politically correct, but my, my goal here is to make sure you understand what I'm saying more than anything else. And he's discriminated against, of course. There's also one who's described as being a gypsy. I'm not entirely sure if that is ethnic ethnicity or simply referring to his behavior. Everyone speaks the language that they should at the time, German or Russian. At one point the mongrel sings a mongrel song. The acting is beyond reproach for all involved. There are many characters and many story developments. This film is two hours sans credits and it doesn't actually cover much more time-wise than a couple of weeks. And this is because of how much happens to these people. And all of it is very telling. I don't think it's possible to watch this movie and not be emotionally affected. One might deny it. The subject of rape is not exactly popular. It remains taboo. But I don't think it's entirely possible to not at all be affected. I understand that some try to determine who to feel sorry for, which side to sympathize, the Russians or the Germans. I personally consider that a moot point. One could argue who to pity more, but, and this is important, and this is something they did incredibly well in this film, they are clearly both human beings. Both sides consist entirely of human beings. They react. They behave psychologically credibly. There is no passing judgment in this movie. Granted, the Russians can be vulgar. They're 
behavior can shift violently from that of partying cheerfully to suddenly being very threatening. But this is realistic. Without meaning any offense to the Russian people, they can be vulgar and they are known to party and have a sense of humor as we very much see here and being the invading force you may shift violently suddenly abruptly from one state of mind to another you may overreact Considering the subject matter, the way this is shot is very careful and not at all gratuitous. Sometimes with foreign films, it can be difficult to tell apart the characters, remember exactly who is who. That is not at all a problem in this. It may in fact be the best I've seen of any foreign film in this regard. Along with something like Deo uh, Antogan or Downfall. In English. There is, of course, something lost if you don't speak at least one of the languages in this. But I would still urge anyone who still has an interest in watching this to still give it a chance. Rape is an incredibly destructive act and it is and the full effect of it is explored very convincingly and very compellingly in this movie. physical and emotional trauma, the cynicism and judgment that they face, that the victims face. This was especially bad back then, but still to this day, in some areas of the world, it remains true. It is necessary to have some historical background to fully appreciate this, but it's less the case than with, once again, Der Untergang or Downfall. All in all, this is yet another incredibly important and honest German film. Right up there with the Untergang, or Downfall, and Sophie Schall. I hope that anyone who might appreciate it, at least give it a chance. It's well worth the time. That was my spoiler-free review 
of a woman in Berlin, ein Frau in Berlin. I hope you found it informing.